today I thought I'd show I'd show you where I get my power from, how I get my power, how I generate my power, and what I use my power for. Electricity. And of course it starts uh, on the outside of the trailer. Here's where I hook up for shore power. Just take this cable out. And it's pretty long and you plug that into the shore power. 30 amps. And that'll power everything in there, the air conditioner, microwave, all my electronics, charge up my batteries, which are right up here. I got two batteries here, two six volt batteries, and that creates uh, 12 volts inside the trailer, powers everything that I need. And when I'm driving the truck, I plug it right in here, plug the trailer in here, and the alternator charges the batteries and it, pretty quick in, in a few hours a couple hours three hours maybe the batteries will be charged this is the fridge this is the furnace the fridge uh, we'll talk about inside that runs on electricity too then we come back here and let's go up top up here you got the air conditioner and my two solar panels 100 watts each and that creates a lot of power for me out here I can stay out when it's open like this it's pretty open here there's some trees it's not full Sun right now but these panels will still generate enough electricity for me to use whatever I need to pretty much obviously besides the air conditioner and the microwave for you know for a long time weeks as long as I need, and definitely as long as there's some sun out there. Okay, another part of my electrical system is the generator here, which holds about a gallon of gas in there, and then I've got five gallons in the red tank here. And a gallon of gas inside here will run my air conditioner whenever I need to for about four to five hours on one gallon and then if I want to run anything else like the microwave or charge up my batteries anything like that this thing will run all day doing that because that doesn't use as much power as the uh, air conditioner does uh, and this thing works really good it's real quiet and it's got two modes it's got like a low power mode and a higher power mode and that has a power jack right here and I just plug that in the 120 volt outlet right there plug that directly into the trailer i'll show you how i do that so to use the generator all i do is take the plug right here and plug that in to here that's just an adapter and this plugs directly into the generator and then in between that i usually put this surge protector and i always put this on whenever i'm at a campground surge protector here just gives me some indicators and uh, protects the trailer from any surges, basically, power outages and things like that, that can cause the uh, interior electronics of the trailer to go haywire. And this keeps me safe there. This thing was like 80 bucks, but um, man, it just, it makes you feel like nothing can go wrong electrically with your trailer. So it seems like it's worth it. Now, another electrical component I have is the uh, electrical jack here power jack this thing um, works great jack up the trailer whenever I need to I don't have to use the crank just pull this switch up and down and that runs the jack stand up and down my dad installed this and uh, works like a charm really Okay, now we're inside, and everything in here right now, we're not hooked up to shore power. We're just hooked up to, uh, we're just using the solar power. The solar panels are charging the batteries. Dodger got some sap on his pod, cleaned off most of it, but he's got to clean the rest off on his own. He got a big wad of sap in there. So he's got some work to do. And Echo and I, we just went on a walk, so he's kind of tired. 
So solar power is powering everything right now. We got lights, all kinds of lights in here. And those are being powered from the batteries which are charged on solar. And let's take a look at that. The solar is being generated right now even though it's overcast. You can see it's uh, pulling 2.2 amps right now. And that's the battery right now. The batteries are reading 13.7 volts. And the solar panel is pulling 13.7 volts. Now this thing works really good. It's right here under my sink. Down in the shower, I got my washing machine for my clothes and the spin dryer right here. This thing runs on a 120 volt system and that'll plug directly into my generator or to shore power. And you, you've seen that in uh, my other videos. Then I have a bunch of AC outlets in the trailer and these only run when I'm hooked up to shore power. Uh, they can also run when I'm hooked up to the generator and then I can just power whatever I need off 120 volts as long as the generator is running. Okay, and then of course I've got my TV here, which runs off of 12 volts, and this thing plugs in right here to the cigarette 12 volt, and that is hooked up to my batteries right now. And I've installed two more 12 volt outlets here. One runs a little fan that I've got, so I can hook up this fan right here, so a little, little fan. And again, that's all that's all solar. And this one right here is running into this inverter that I've got here. 300 watt inverter. It's got two USB ports so I can charge little things like little battery packs that I have. Um, this runs my Bose sound system. So it uh, inverts to AC power. And it also runs my PlayStation, which I've got right here. I've got a PS4 so I can play video games and watch Blu-rays if I want. Dodger's still working on his paw. Now here I've got some components that I use and I keep charged. I've got a Bluetooth speakers right here. And these, these I can charge off of solar, the solar power. My headlamp charges off of solar power. And I can just plug that into a USB port. Same with these power packs. To keep my phone charged. I keep these charged. And these keep my phone charged. So I can keep my phone charged. Uh, if I run out of solar or anything like that, these are always good to go. Right here I got this little iPhone adapter, which plugs into the iPhone right here. Then the HDMI cable here plugs into the TV. And right here's a little power jack to keep power running and you just plug in one of these power packs into there and it keeps your phone charged so I can stream stream video straight to the TV also a few other electronics I got here are I got this mood light which uh, changes colors with a remote control that runs on batteries and this runs on like six six double A's and it's a guitar amp and this is my little beatbox for making sick beats. And this plugs into uh, with with a 12 volt adapter. So when I'm not making sick beats on my drum machine, sometimes I got to repair stuff. And so I got this little battery pack here for my Milwaukee drill, and that charges up here on 120 volts, and I can charge that using the generator or shore power, of course. Here's my battery charger for my double A's and triple A's. Just plug that in. I can plug that into the generator or my outlets when my generator is hooked up or shore power. And then I got all the batteries I need. Just recharge them up and keep everything powered that way. I've got portable power. Okay, now here's my fridge and my freezer. And this runs, like right now it's running on propane. And when I'm hooked up to shore power, I can run it on electric. So the whole thing will run on electric. Right now, it runs mainly on propane. There's a little heat strip here around the freezer that does run on DC power. Uh, so that's powered with the uh, solar right now. Uh, but the freezer and the fridge is all powered with propane. It doesn't use that much propane at all. 
and I got it fully stocked right now. And of course I've got the microwave, which runs off of shore power, and sometimes it'll run off my generator. I've been having trouble getting it to run all the time off my generator. I think it's because I'm bent up in the mountains, so the generator doesn't have quite as much power. Uh, but the air conditioner hasn't been having any problems running on the generator. This thing runs great. I can run either, I can run it in fan mode. I can turn on the compressor and run cool air and it keeps the trailer really nice. We've been running it in 95, 97 degree temperatures and keeping the trailer really comfortable for us. Now here I've got my backup solar panel. It's a 75 watt solar briefcase panel. It folds up like this and I just store it in the bed of the truck. And this is for if my trailer happens to not be in the sun directly, then this has a long enough cable I can usually drag it out and lay it into the sun if I want to run like my little fan that I have that just plugs in here with the cigarette lighter style 12 volt adapter. And then I can run the fan directly off of this panel whenever the sun's going. And that works really well as a, as a good backup. The solar panels only cost 250 bucks with the solar charge controller and the cables and everything. And it took a little while to install, but once it's installed, it's like a no fuss kind of system. And it keeps everything super charged. The sun, see the sun's coming out right now, just charging, charging my batteries, keeping them totally topped off. Um, so I don't have any concerns about power anymore when you're boondocking. And it's quiet. 